You could tell us your name and the name of your company. Can you stand a little closer to you? Bagel? <laughs> Hi, my name is Chris Prahatch. I'm with McGill University in Montreal, Canada. And what is uh, this robot that we're looking at here? This is this is the Aqua robot. This robot has been uh, designed as an extension of another project that took place at McGill a couple years ago, the Rex project. And this robot here is designed principally to extend the capabilities of the robot in the aquatic environment, to allow it to swim underwater in addition to being able to walk on land. <laughs> Why would you need a robot to be able to swim? Well, we would like to uh, be able to... The Rex robot that we have uh, basically was developed as a basically for search and rescue to be able to get out and, and ex explore situations we would want to send people. But um, quite naturally, in part of the terrain, you may cross rivers or lakes, and it would be really useful to have a platform that would be able to operate in those environments to get across those environments without being held up. So that was part of the inspiration for creating this robot. So this robot both walks and swims. That's correct. Yes. Um, and can it go from one to the other, swimming to walking and walking to swimming? Right now, the way that it's been designed requires someone to actually change the limbs on it, but we're currently developing uh, a set of legs that will work well in both environments. Um, what kind of open source, if any, does your robot use? Uh, a software library was created specifically for the, the Rex uh, robot, which has been used on this one and a number of other projects since, and it's called Rexlib, or R-H-E-X-Lib, uh, which is a software library that allows people to program specific modules and behaviors uh, very simply and plug into the other existing um, capabilities within the library itself. So does that mean that it's, for example, maybe on SourceForge or that it is on SourceForge? Why would anybody uh, give you software for free? Why would they they go and solve your problem if they're not getting paid for it? It was actually our group that created it. We offered it free for everyone else. But so, aren't you giving away your secret sauce? Why would you put your your secret sauce back on the internet? Well, the, the project itself was was sponsored. The Rex project was sponsored by DARPA. Part of DARPA's goals is that everything that's developed there is uh, available to the public. In addition, it was four different universities that had worked together to create the code. And part of the university's goal, of course, again, is to share its uh, information with everyone else to allow people to build on it and develop it. What's DARPA? DARPA is the Defense Advanced Research Project. Agency. It's a branch of the American government that funds uh, research that otherwise would not have any source of funding. There's no commercial viability at that point. Where did, the, where did the internet come from? The internet was uh, funded originally by DARPA. I think at the time it was called ARPANET when it was originally created. So, um, now, do you, is this a, you're from a university, is it a for-profit activity or is it not for-profit, not for-profit? Currently this, this research is not for-profit. Uh, what we are hoping is perhaps this particular platform itself may have some commercial applications which will allow us to um, generate some income and find other activities. 